Let us begin a question answer session on mechanics. This is lecture number 2 and we shall address a few questions on calculation of moment of inertia. The first question we would deal with is as follows. Four identical spheres are placed with their centers on four corners of a square. Find moment of inertia of system. The axes are as follows. About one side of square taking spheres to be solid spheres. What if spheres are hollow? About diagonal of square taking spheres to be solid spheres. What if spheres are hollow? About axis perpendicular to plane of square and passing through center. What if spheres are hollow? The answer. This is the square referred to in question. Sides are of length B. This is sphere A at one corner say A. Sphere B here at corner B. Sphere C at corner C and sphere D at corner D. We consider solid spheres having mass M, radius A. Axis about which moment of inertia is to be calculated is AB, which is one side of square ABCD. Let us use a familiar result. Moment of inertia of solid sphere of mass M and radius A about diameter as axis is given by 2 by 5 m s square. This is the sphere of mass m radius a and this is the axis which in fact is a diameter of the sphere. Let us concentrate on the problem given. Moment of inertia of the set of solid spheres is equal to moment of inertia of sphere a plus moment of inertia of sphere B, plus moment of inertia of sphere C, plus moment of inertia of sphere D. And moment of inertia is to be calculated about axis AB. Let us calculate the moment of inertia of sphere A about the axis AB. Now AB is diameter and so the answer is 2 by 5 ma square. Similarly, Moment of inertia of sphere B about axis AB, which is its diameter, is the same quantity 2 by 5 ma square. Look at IC now, which is moment of inertia of sphere C about axis AB. Now AB is not the diameter of sphere C, so we have to apply parallel axis theorem. So it will be the moment of inertia of sphere C about axis CD plus MB square since B is the distance between the two axes AB and CD. What will ID be? Same argument. AB is not the diameter of sphere D and so by parallel axis theorem we have ID that is moment of inertia of sphere D about CD as axis plus MB square where B is the distance between the axis AB and CD. Again CD is diameter of sphere C so this is 2 by 5 MA square. Also CD is diameter of sphere D so its value is 2 by 5 MA square. Let us collect and write all the terms to get four such quantities 2 by 5 ma square plus two quantities like mb square. This is clearly 8 by 5 ma square plus 2 mb square. We need help of this expression in the next problem with hollow spheres. Come to the next problem. We use the known result. The moment of inertia of hollow sphere of mass m and radius a about diameter as axis, it is 2 by 3 ma square. This is the square, each side is of length b. This is sphere a, this is sphere b, this is sphere c and this is sphere d, all situated at the corner of the square. These are hollow spheres of mass m and radius a. 
the axis is AB which is one side of square. Moment of inertia of set of solid spheres about rotation axis AB was 4 times 2 by 5 ma square plus 2 times mb square. The factor 2 by 5 ma square referring to the fact that spheres are solid spheres. For hollow spheres change has to be made here. So replace it by 2 by 3 ma square for the set of hollow spheres. So the answer for moment of inertia for set of hollow spheres will be Let us consider the next problem. This is the solid sphere set situated at the corner of square of side length B. This is diagonal AC and this one is the diagonal DB. O is the point of intersection of the diagonals. We thus consider solid spheres of mass M and radius A. Moment of inertia is to be calculated about axis say AC, a diagonal of the square. O is the midpoint of AC and DB, the two diagonals. Now the moment of inertia of set of solid spheres is moment of inertia of sphere A denoted by IA plus IB the moment of inertia of sphere B plus IC plus ID. The axis is the diagonal AC of the square. What is IA? Since AC is a diameter of sphere A, the answer is 2 by 5 ma square. What is IB? That is moment of inertia of sphere B. We note from figure that AC is not the diameter of sphere B. So we apply parallel axis theorem. It is moment of inertia of sphere B about an axis parallel to AC passing through center of sphere B and this is it call the axis A1C1 plus M into OB square. Since OB is the distance between the two axes AC and A1C1. Now A1C1 is diameter of sphere B. So the moment of inertia of sphere B about A1C1 will be 2 by 5 ma square. Let us digress a bit. Consider the square ABCD. AC diagonal, DB diagonal, O the midpoint. Now it follows from triangle ADB that BD square equal to AB square plus AD square. Each side is of length B and hence it is B square plus B square which is 2B square. So BD is B square root 2. Hence OB equal to OD which is B root 2 by 2. That is B by square root 2. So we write this part as plus M into B by square root 2 whole square. Now turn attention to IC. The moment of inertia about diagonal AC. AC is a diameter of the sphere C and so moment of inertia will be 2 by 5 ma square. Now we write ID the moment of inertia of sphere D about AC. Apply parallel axis theorem. ID will be ID about axis A2C2 where A2C2 is an axis parallel to AC and passing through the center of sphere D. Add plus M into OD square. Now A2C2 is diameter of sphere D and so answer is 2 by 5 ma square plus we have M into B by root 2 whole square because we proved that the length OD is B by square root 2. This results in 4 times 2 by 5 ma square plus 2 times M into B by square root 2 whole square. So answer is Next problem. This is a repeat of the previous problem but with hollow spheres. This is the diagram and now spheres are hollow. So let us write hollow spheres of mass m radius a 
axis is AC which is diagonal of square. For solid spheres the answer was let us write I or moment of inertia of solid sphere with axis AC a diagonal of square equal to we replace this factor corresponding to solid spheres by this factor pertaining to hollow spheres so answer is Next problem, draw the square with solid spheres at corners, solid spheres of mass m and radius a. Axis is denoted by the symbol, the encircled dot, meaning that the axis is perpendicular to the plane of the paper towards the reader. At point O, the midpoint of square. Now moment of inertia of set of solid spheres about axis perpendicular to O is I of sphere A plus I of sphere B plus I of sphere C plus I of sphere D. What is IA? As the perpendicular at point O is not a diameter of sphere A, we get by parallel axis theorem that moment of inertia of sphere A will be moment of inertia of sphere A about axis which is perpendicular line at point A plus m into OA square. Since OA is the distance or separation between the perpendicular through A and another through O. The axis perpendicular at A is a diameter of sphere A and hence answer to it is 2 by 5 ma square plus m into b by square root 2 whole square. We note that the spheres are identical and similarly placed with respect to the central axis through O. So the moment of inertia of spheres B, C, D will give the same result that is similar argument follows. Hence moment of inertia of set of solid spheres about axis through O will be four such quantities. So it is 4 times, that is answer is 8 by 5 ma square plus 2 times mb square. Next problem is a repeat of the same problem but now with hollow spheres. So moment of inertia of the set of hollow spheres about axis perpendicular at midpoint O will be where we have replaced this quantity corresponding to set of solid spheres by this one which corresponds to the set of hollow spheres and this is the answer. Let us face the next question. An object is made from thin wear and is shaped like a square with a side length L and total mass M. What is the moment of inertia of this object around an axis that passes through the center of square and is perpendicular to it? The answer. This problem thus refers to a square the sides of which are wires or rods say like AB with midpoint O1. This is another wire or rod BC and this is the third one CD. DA is the fourth one that joins at A. A square is built. Midpoint is O. Let length of square be L. Mass of four rods is M. So mass of each rod or wear will be M by 4. The moment of inertia of the portion AB about the perpendicular axis through midpoint O is given by Moment of inertia of portion AB plus moment of inertia of portion BC plus moment of inertia of portion CD plus moment of inertia of portion DA. What is the moment of inertia of the portion AB about the perpendicular axis through midpoint O? 
clearly as the perpendicular through midpoint O does not pass through portion AB, we apply parallel axis theorem. So, it is moment of inertia of portion AB about perpendicular axis through its midpoint that is point O1 plus its mass that is m by 4 into O01 square. O01 is the perpendicular distance between the two axes namely the perpendiculars through O and O1. Now, IAB about O1 is its mass that is m by 4 into L square by 12 plus m by 4 into L by 2 whole square since distance O01 is L by 2. So, we get ml square by 48 plus ml square by 16. This is ml square by 12. For these terms, that is moment of inertia of portions BC, CD and DA about perpendicular through midpoint O, same arguments can be applied as these portions are situated with respect to midpoint O just as the portion AB with respect to midpoint O for which we have just finished our calculation which is ml square by 12. Hence the moment of inertia of the object would be call it I. It is equal to 4 times ml square by 12 that is ml square by 3. This is the answer. Let us put our answers as answers to a master question. Find moment of inertia of the system about the shown axis of rotation and choose the correct options. First diagram is a square of length B. Masses at four corners A, B, C and D. These dots indicate solid spheres of mass M and radius of sphere is A. This is the midpoint, call it O. What is moment of inertia of system about AB as rotation axis? Options are and the correct option we got was Next, what is the moment of inertia of the system about the diagonal AC? Options are And the correct option we got was next what is the moment of inertia about a perpendicular axis through midpoint O. Options are and the correct option we got was let us draw another figure. This is a square of side B and masses are at corners A, B, C and D. These are hollow spheres of mass m radius a. O is the midpoint. What is the moment of inertia of system about AB as rotation axis? Options are and the correct option we got was next what is the moment of inertia of the system about the diagonal AC? Options are And the correct option we got was next what is the moment of inertia of system about a perpendicular axis through midpoint O. Options are and the correct option we got was we next draw another figure. This is a wire or rod. This is another and we have another two they form a square. L is the length of each wire or rod and the total mass of the system is m. Then the moment of inertia of system about perpendicular axis through O denoted by I O is the options are and the correct option is 